The weather can be changeable. It can be sunny or rainy. Sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold. For the cold season, we install heating. In our house, we mounted an electric boiler and underfloor heating to maintain a comfortable temperature. The camper will also have heating, but a different kind altogether. We will install the device called Vibasto. However, it's not an original Vibasto, but it's Chinese version. It looks the same, but cost much less. Many people use them in motorhomes and everyone is satisfied. So we will install this device as well. But we will keep the installation as simple as possible. What's in a box? The kit looks complex, but once assembled, After installation, the system will look like this. The upper part will be inside the vehicle and the lower part outside. Control panel main unit. Here is an air intake, the combustion chamber and exhaust. Air is drawn from the cabin, heated and returned to the cabin. The incoming and outcoming air do not mix. There is an air filter here and a muffler at the end to reduce the noise. The green tube is for fuel supply, which will use diesel. The kit includes a fuel tank. We could install it, but I'll make it easier by connecting the tube to the vehicle main tank. The kit also includes a pump and a filter. For connecting the tank, I bought an additional tube. Clean it up. Is it clean? Yes, it is clean. Shall we remove the seat? Which one? The large one. The seat is only attached at the front. Unscrew two bolts and remove the seat. How will you drive without the seat? Like this. Super. The diesel heater will be installed here. This is the air intake. I pull a grill here. Air will enter, heat up and come out warm here. While installing this spot, the floor will be much higher here, level with the cabin, so the heater will end up under the floor. Now we decide where to drill the hole for the Vibasto. We have made so many holes already. <laughs> Maybe that's what makes a one different from the camper. <laughs> There is a niche here for conveniently installing all the equipment. Let's find the exact spot for drilling. The shape of the body here is the same as underneath. We will drill from inside, since it's hard to drill from outside. A quick check, all looks good. The vehicle manufacturer must have known someone would want to install a Vibasto here. Smart thinking. I will use the drill bit to make the hole. Whoa. It 
It's a good for small holes, but we need a much bigger one. Installing a diesel heater requires many holes. The installation will be challenging, since we will need to connect tubes from below, which is tricky. So I'll connect everything to this plate, make one big hole here and install everything at once. Perfect. Filling the edges now. Marking it out. I covered the floor with a bubble wrap. <laughs> Great for painting and relaxing the nerves too. Opening the hatch with a coin and unscrewing the cap. Underneath here is a fuel tank, and here is a hatch, giving access to it. There are about three options. Drill into the tank body and attach the tube, but that would be require removing the tank, and I don't want to do that. Another option, unscrew the cap, split some fuel, and try to connect the tube here in a hard-to-reach spot. Or the simplest option, remove tube, drill a hole in it and connect there. We will go with the third, simplest option. Let's go! The tube is too long. We need to measure the tank depth Subtract 3 cm and cut the tube, so we basta can't use up all the fuel. There is equipment under the cap, and the tube shouldn't be angled. Oh. It is sealed, but I'll add glue for an extra security. Now connecting the tube. The hardest part is done. Now the pump and its power supply.
tube from below and a cable too. Fuel will flow from the tank to the pump, then to the bus stop. This is where we connect power and install at this angle. Attaching the rubber cover to the pump and connecting the filter. Oh, super! Now all connected and attached to the body. Meanwhile, in a van, the final stretch. Attach the platform and connect the fuel tube from the tank. One tube. And another. Air intake connected. Exhaust also connected. Fuel connected. And pump power connected too. The exhaust will be outside the camper, so you will seal here for security with a fireplace sealant. Fastening with the included ties. Attach the muffler. <laughs> Ensuring neither it nor the pipe touches the body. All set. Excellent. Here is the main pipe and the diesel heater. You can only see the end of the pipe. Exhaust goes to the side. Fuel tube, pump power and air intake. First we bust, then the pump, then the filter and finally the fuel tank. This is the diesel tank. Connections are intuitive. Yeah. Red cable is a positive, black is negative. But the cables are short, so we will need to add an extra length. To test, I will connect the diesel heater to the vehicle battery. The control panel is working. Oops, it's upside down. Let's try turning it on. Not working. We will have to read the manual. There is fuel. The manual doesn't explain the first startup. So I turned it on and waited, and the Basta started working. Warm air is already coming out. The pump is working. <laughs> we have a hot hair. Super! Everything works. Now we have heating. With a pipe, I will distribute warm air around the cabin. 
It's very hot. It's like a hair dryer blowing. It's hot outside, but I make it it even hotter in the van. The noise is noticeable. Sound like a small jet engine running. Well, the heating is ready, so we are almost set for the first test trip. But more on that in the next episode. Have a great day. See you next time.